Sascha here for NetbookNews.com. We are at the show floor of the Netbook Summit uh, in San Francisco, still in the Grand Hyatt Hotel. And we just stumbled upon the Toshiba booth, and it tells us a little bit about the history of UMPCs or netbooks. This is a Toshiba Libretto 100 CT. You know, that's a really, really neat device running on a Pentium. M, I think it was a Pentium M, 166 um, megahertz. It had uh, 32 megabytes of RAM and a 2 gigabyte hard disk. So this is a 7.1 inch display with a resolution of 800 by 480. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it uh, looks pretty much like the first netbook, right? Even smaller than the first generation of the EPC. And very, very small keyboard. And look, look at the function keys. That's kind of hard to, you know, to, to hit them. But then, I think this is from 1998. So let's take a look at this one over here. This is from uh, 2004, 2005. I'm sure the shippy at umpcportal.com has it in its product database. Uh, Libretto U100 running a Pentium M 1.2 gigahertz. I think 512 MBs of RAM and a 60 gigabyte hard disk. Still, uh, when we compare these, like in seven years, not a big difference at all. Of course, it has way more performance this one. And then finally, let's, let's go another five years later, or six years later, Toshiba NV305, uh, still one of my favorite 10-inch netbooks on the market. Uh, still has the best keyboard, trackpad, mouse button combination compared to all of the netbooks I ever had in my hands. So this one is running Intel Atom N450, comes with 250 gigabyte of hard disk, one gigabyte RAM, Windows 7 Home Premium. And I think it sells for about $399 or 399 euros, something like that. A really, really cool system, up to eight to nine hours of battery life. And as I said, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a new netbook, definitely take a look at the Toshiba NV305 and uh, try out this fantastic keyboard. This is Sasha for NetbookNews.com at Toshiba booth at the Netbook Summit in San Francisco. Thanks for watching.